Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and today I'm gonna test this beautiful motorcycle. This is the Honda Shadow Aero. As you can see the classic variant of this motorcycle. It was just transported here to, in Kyiv in the United States, from the United States and it's made in the United States. Quite nice motorcycle. Uh, it has 1100 cc cool lights in the front red look wheels uh, copper exhaust that's the tuning thing installed here I don't know if seats are tuning or not I really like these bags as well and today my friend asked me asked me to ride this motorcycle to his house and because he don't have any experience well he has some experience but just a little with driving motorcycle so he just asked me to do it okay that's a nice bike where is the ignition plug it's here well, it looks the same as VTX maybe I need to put the nitro yeah Nice exhaust sound. It has thirty seven uh, thousand and seven hundred fifty two miles on it. I like this <laughs> classic uh, speed indicator. I like these lamps installed in a uh, four bridge and this motorcycle looks looks nice the steering wheel is quite unusual for me because I have the normal steering wheel on my VTX but this wheel still still, still okay I just wait for a couple of minutes a couple of minutes for this bike to warm up I'd like to check the performance nice pads for the, your legs Today we have a very long trip outside the city on this motorcycle. Okay, I think it's time to go. And this guy also decides to go. I don't like really to drive in a city but I need some time to fill this motorbike to feel how it works the good thing is very similar to VTX Clutch is working nice. Uh, there is a lot of vibration of this motorcycle. Lots of vibration, I would say, compared to the Honda one, to my VTX. It's very easy to find the nitro here. So what to say, I like this motorbike, especially that it looks similar to mine, and I like its behavior, it's, uh, I said before, well balanced, the suspension is not working well on our roads, uh, it's similar, very similar to VTX suspension, 
if you have even the small holes on the road you can feel it uh, all the road roughness and we are going today to the central part of the city I'm not trying to speed it up on this bike this is not my bike and I'll feel lots of responsibility right now guys maybe they see that I don't have a number plate on my motorcycle maybe they want to stop me actually you can drive without number plate and you just bought a motorcycle at least 10 days so they give you this time to register your motorcycle so this motorcycle was bought uh, an official dealer and this is how this is going so guys uh, bikes which are made in the United States they are very different compared to those uh, which are made in Japan so I'm now like in a Harley feel myself like in it on my motorcycle I feel myself uh, on Japan my motorcycle even though it's made in the United States but I know I don't know how to explain but this Honda really feels uh, as an old school bike And guys my road and this beautiful motorcycle has been just finished here the garage one of these garages where this thing will be staying for for some time and the new driver will drive it I like I like the way it looks but I don't really like the way it rides because of many factors the first factor is vibration uh, the suspension well it's I would say a little bit better than on VTX if I would stall this progressive suspension VTX it should be better than this one I like the front lights I like all these three, three lights here I wonder if everything is working fine I like in a way the exhaust the Cobra exhaust first I didn't like but in the city uh, people really uh, hear you in the, if their car window is dropped down so if the car window is open they hear you if, if not if they are listening to some music or speaking with the on their phone it's not good thing to it to it to your safety awareness mm, what else the maximum speed I reach on this motorcycle is 140 kilometers an hour which is uh, up to 90 miles an hour and this was almost full throttle so I don't really like uh, the power of this engine if you like the smooth riding this bike is for you because its acceleration is very smooth its uh, look is very nice so I say this is a true American style this kind of motorbikes true American type of motorcycles uh, not very powerful but the look and the smoothness is nice this also looks like VTX everything is uh, very similar to the VTX uh, motorcycle has a nice comfortable seat uh, and I discovered this, this uh, control steering is also comfortable but it's, it was quite unusual for me to handle it with the steering wheel because my steering wheel is a little bit different it has some I don't know this thing is scratched here this thing is lost in the chrome part of the handbar um, other than that some corrosion over there already so you need to paint the frame there um, other than that maybe this motorcycle is perfect for the beginner 
uh, VTX it's a little bit crazy it's very accelerative but this motorcycle is a really nice choice for beginner uh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money you can and you like cruisers you can buy the Honda Shadow Ira like you can see it here so my friends I hope you enjoyed this video it's over now subscribe to my channel like this video if you want and you will see many more videos on my channel with the test drives and motor vlogs bye bye